Hi guys, welcome to this video. There is somebody on Telegram, was it, who has a question. He wants to log in to CHADWM, so the one you're looking at, that's a fork of DWM. There are enough virtual machines to play with it. I don't know what I did to this machine because, yeah, I test a lot of things out in virtual machine, virtual box. But we're going to install CHDWM and see if we can log in because that's the issue on Telegram. Logging in means you need to have a display manager. So GDM, there is um, SDM, LXDM and so on, LightDM. If you're on a virtual box, you have this small border. If you set it to VM SVDA these days with 7.0 virtual box, but with a right control and a F and a right control and an F, you have full screen again. So I want to have something else, something extra. XD to shows you the content of user share X sessions. This means I just have XFCE. It might be that you have something with a W and a W is Wayland. We do not recommend using anything Wayland related on VirtualBox, right? So always real metal. So it's not there. There is no folder Wayland sessions. If I want to install more, this is the XL. We launched the ATT, the Arch Linux Tweak Tool. And I will launch it this way as a developer because I see the communication here and you see it as well. They're all kind of fixes. If things would not work, fix SDM, fix LightDM, fix LXDM, because there is a certain way of doing things. You have to do that, right? With 40 ISOs, you have to have one way to um, share files, basically. And in this case, often it's the SDM thing that we need to share, share because we have by default SDM. So the desktop that we, we want to have is CHDWM. You go and install it with a button a click of the button, you see all kinds of things. And we also see that the mirrors are not okay. So the mirrors are sick. Request URL returned error 404. This has nothing to do with the tool and has everything to do with uh, there is no connection to your current system, right? So to the internet. So let's see for an update what's happening here and see if we can do something. Well, there is connection now anyway. <laughs> and I did build weather maybe it's good as in the video um it's a strange version 1.55 it went from 1.2 i think to 5.5 anyway so if, if weather is your thing pseudo pacman minus s weather to get it in but here it gets in automatically so let's just reboot as well because he wants to retrieve a package which is dash and this one from geo mirror package build come and they say uh -uh, can't do it right but in the meantime the system has been updated now we can't click the button let uh, let that be clear there can be only one pacman at a time at work so i can click as, uh, as much as i want uh, he will say no pacman is busy you gotta wait, right? And then this, this uh, you have this lock message, and so there can be only one Pacman instance working. You got to be patient. And what also happens sometimes is users have F12 open, and it's doing stuff up there, but then you close it, but it's still busy. It's still working. It's not because you don't see it that it's not working. So that sometimes um, happens as well. So our Pacman is in another screen, you know. Yeah, it's all one and the same machine and there is can be only one Pacman at work. Now, what I can also include in this video, you see these things here, Broadcom, W, all so on. We're on a virtual machine, right? I'm sure you don't need it. <laughs> so you can remove and also on your real metal, have a think, have a look and say, mm, do I have a Broadcom? And then you have another tool that says INC minus B. You have a look, what kind of hardware do you have? And there's also a probe for, yourself, for you to really know your machine, right? They get 
everything to know about your computer system. And this is sometimes what we ask you provide us so we can see what's going on, right? And then immediately you know, okay, this guy is Nvidia and he has this and he has that. And we got all kind of information about boot EFI information. Okay, everything is okay. Or something is maybe missing, I don't know, right? Uh, I've just made a video and I removed one of those files. Of course you can't boot anymore. And then we tried fixing it again with super grub to, I think it's called, <clears throat> instead of arch shrooting it. So we're still waiting. Here we can go and let's do, let's go ahead. Eh? That's that, this is this. So the Spacman stuff is done. I scroll a little bit up and I see there's also another one. So sudo pacman minus R. And if you, and in case you're wondering, I always add more stuff to my videos than the titles say. I, I'm teaching you all kinds of things now. And this is one of the things, clean up the stuff you don't have. This is hardware stuff. If you don't have that hardware stuff, uh, it doesn't hurt either, but it, makes this longer it makes making these modules and the, and the installation longer and that's something i don't like all the rest i don't care but this is slowing me down <laughs> my mojo right <laughs> anyway so we've got our update in we can try again and see if it works the servers are now connected so he found the service the internet is there it's not broken you can quit ATT now and can log out and let's see if we can log in because that is the issue of the user. So logging in, SDM should pop up. Now, one of the things I should have explained, and that's maybe also the reason about if, if there's a big um, update like this, you see SDM is not kicking in, right? Then maybe it's better to do a reboot. So normally, and I can't do this here, this first box, normally on a real metal, I do control alt backspace. So I have a look at the keys. This should be in your fingers. If something is hanging, you do control alt backspace, the X service resets, and you're getting SDM again. Now in this case, I need to really reboot two ways. TTY, normally control alt F2 or three or four or five and so on. Here in virtual box, Control, right control, F4, for example. I log in, I log in, and I say sudo reboot, SR. And then you let all the bits and the pieces apply, new Linux kernel, new SD, uh, system D, maybe it's new SDDM. Oh yeah, we have a new, oh, yeah, yeah, true, <laughs> there was a new SDDM that we've created. Um, so yeah, sometimes it is a really reboot. So control X, we have a logout because we want to log in to CHATWM. There you are. Welcome with us, right? And let's hope for the best. We're in. So not sure what the issue could be of the user, but a super C is going to kill the conky. And um, of course, the conky next time around is there again. So immediately I go to here, I go to CHA. Well, actually I do this as a workflow. I put the dot config here, then I click, then I pack, uh, take the Arco CHTWM and I click here. And then maybe you could take the scripts, which I don't drag here, but just go here and run. And then control find conkey. Next time around, don't run me the conky. I know my keyboard shortcuts. Super Q, Super Q, and an Alt N because this wallpaper is switched. So, all the packages are needed. Behind anything Display Manager like, when you log in, everything should be there. If there is no configuration behind SDM, you can't log in. You just, as the M says, uh, I don't know. And, or there's an error behind it. And gracefully, gracefully, SDM rescues you and you get thrown back to SDM, right? That's, that's, that's good, that's a fail safe. But it means something is wrong 
behind it. So what I would suggest is start with XL, XS, then you have XFCE as fallback because if Qtile, if BSPWM, if anything behind the SDM is failing, either two options, you end up in a black screen with a cursor blinking somewhere or you get thrown back. And then it's back to XFCE, back to the code, have a look, what did I do wrong? Ah, oh, space, and enter, a comma, a semicolon. It really is sometimes like that, right? Even a false enter, I had to fix yesterday, only yesterday, something I couldn't see. <laughs> a sentence that was, for the machine, not finished. And for us, it's very clear, it's finished. But yeah, so, so sometimes it can be really tricky. So mind you, look at that. And for the rest, um, in general, I would say, have a look if you're experimenting, then you go to user share, X sessions, and you follow the machine. What does the machine do? Hit SDM, you click on CHDWM, it goes here to user share X sessions or the X sessions Wayland and you open it with Sublime Text and you take a look. So basically, it's going to user pin exec, chwm, then you have a look. Where is it going? It's going to user, right, pin, and then exec. And then you can drag it here, if it will let you, Hopla. and then it says, okay, C cd to your home directory, home Eric then, and then go in there and run the start script. So here you can mess with the code as well. If you think um, I, you can improve the execution of CHDWM or anything, right? I'm just talking in general. This is where you say, if I click on SDM and I launch blah, blah, then go and launch that and that and that and that. You can write your own script. All right, that's just a general um, overview to run or launch anything that's uh, behind an SDM or a GDM or an IDM, it all works the same. All right, enjoy, cheers.